Ray Cohen with Hollywood First Look Features, and joining me today is Dixie Edricks, the star of The Secret Garden. Dixie, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, yes, absolutely. So I did just see you in Summerland also. <laughs> Cool. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I love that both stories kind of tap into magic. Um, what is it about a magical story that you think is so special? I think, um, I think it's probably just all like the emotions, if you see what I mean. Like for example, in Summerland, there was a lot of emotions, which kind of added to the whole magic thing. And in the secret garden, there's a lot of emotions, and I think the the magic of the garden is kind of kind of controlled off how the children feel, if you see what I mean. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So how did you prepare for that? Because obviously it takes a huge imagination to get into character. What was some of the work that you did? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say there was anything specific. But I did know the story pretty well beforehand. You know, I'd read it when I was quite young. Um, and I really liked the story, really liked the book, which is a good thing. Um, so I did, I think all that I really did was know the story pretty well before I started doing the film, if you right. see what I mean. <laughs> so how excited were you when this role came up? How did you, how did you approach this character knowing that you really were in love with the story? Um, yeah, so when I, got the thing, got the role. I was really happy, you know, obviously. I'm um, very excited. Um, and I think I didn't really approach it in a way. I just kind of, you know, saw what happened. You know, we had rehearsals beforehand. So I had a lot of time before we actually started shooting the film um, where I got to know, obviously, the other cast, the director. So that helped a lot, I guess. I, I do want to talk, since you touched on that, I want to talk about working with Colin first. Tell me what that was like. It was, it was amazing. Yeah, it was really cool. You know, um, he's obviously really good at what he does, but um, he was a really genuinely nice person, really kind to me and a very interesting person actually. But yeah, it was, it was really inspiring to um, work with him in that way and quite the privilege. So how do you think this adaptation of the story differs from either the book or something else that people have seen before? Um, it differs slightly, yeah. Um, you know, the, the time is different, the, where it's set is different and the ending's a bit different. But I think that they, I think that the writer managed to get a really good balance between staying true to the story and like the core cool message of the story and, you know, making it a little bit more modern or for a new generation to enjoy. So what is it about Mary that you like best? What do you think other girls will look up to when they watch you on screen? Um, I I really like the character of Mary just because she's 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 complex, you know, she's she's not just she's not straightforward. She obviously in the beginning, very unlikable, not good at all, not lovely. But um the film kind of shows why she is like she is. Um and as it goes on, you see how she changes and like blossoms, if you will, into a more positive, more a better person, really, and a happier person. And I think just the way that she grows emotionally was just really interesting. And that's kind of what draws you in to her as a character. Right. You did kind of tap on the message. What is it for you? What do you think is the overall message of the film? I think that the main, what we want people to take away from this is just that, you know, quite a few things, you know, nature, for example, nature is obviously a big bit of the film. It's really important and we need to protect it um, and conserve it and we should appreciate it because, yeah, we just should. And um, I also think that I hope the film shows that people can grow and change as a person no matter what's happened to them or no matter who they are. Um, and you can, you can even see like the growth in every character really, which I think is a good message for the film. I love that. Well, I think it's beautiful. Dixie, thank you so much for joining us. You can check out The Secret Garden beginning August 7th.